Now black folk are zero producers and 100% consumers. You're going to get totally wiped out on this country and wiped off the face of the earth under globalization if you don't learn how to produce. And, you, and once you start producing, do it vertically. You produce something at the bottom level, then you go up and have other blacks come in over you. If I, like I'm producing fish, a million pounds of fish a year, I want blacks to come in at warehouse, wholesale, distributor, then retail. I want to see some black lobster restaurants in the country. And you, and you build, and I had about two more minutes I got. Now, and you, and you, build these, you build these vertical orders based on your competitive advantages. Start build your businesses where you have a competitive advantage. What are your competitive advantages, black folk? Always build your business where you dominate in population or you dominate in spending patterns. I, went, I built the seafood factories, why? Because blacks eat three to four times more seafood than whites and you spend nine dollars for every one dollar white spend. You should be controlling the seafood industry. Do the same thing with leather. You do the same thing with your hair. Right now, blacks are the only people got, got a certain quality of hair and yet the Koreans are controlling black hair care in America. And you watch you build these businesses like the difference between Detroit and Chinatown. You got it in, in, in Chinatown in New York. In Chinatown, New York, they got about a little less than 300,000 Chinese there. And in Detroit, you got almost a, had almost a million blacks. I looked at the two and compared them. 